Monsieur de Mirabeau. Uh, uh, oh. The demon can speak? Speak, then! Has my time come? I do not know. My life is in your hands. It's not worth much. Do what you will with it. I seek Monsieur de Volcanson. He holds the secret to the tireless automats. And you think you'll find him here? In my quarters? Tell me. Who is your master? Aren't you one of Cagliostro's creatures? I serve only the Queen. Ah, the Queen. Well then, that's something else altogether. Where could Monsieur de Volcanson have gone? How should I know? The situation is dire out there. Everyone is taking shelter wherever they can. Let me think. I know that he and Monsieur Bailly, the astronomer, are close. Perhaps Monsieur Bailly knows more? Where can he be found? He must have taken refuge in his observatory at the Louvre. Otherwise, I doubt he is still alive. He and his associate Lavoisier, the astronomer and the chemist, they were once the pride of the court but have fallen out of favor. Too close to the common people, it would seem. It's as if only Vaucanson managed to stay in the king's good graces. Sic transit gloria mundi. Who is this Cagliostro? <laughs> you feign ignorance. I do not know. Then you should know that Cagliostro is the king's right-hand man. He claims to be a magician, and he is a self-styled Count. A charlatan who is more powerful than a minister. Precisely. I've heard the most troubling rumors about him. He is supposedly the one who enabled the king to breathe life into these killing machines that no key need wind. I admit it sounds highly improbable, and I wouldn't believe a word of it if I didn't have proof standing right before my eyes. I found this message in Monsieur de Volcanson's carriage. He didn't receive it. That is most worrying. Eugène and I are old friends. I was hoping he would be able to tell me what the deuce is going on. Of course, I doubt he had a hand in this odious display of force, but he spent years in service to the king and his projects. Projects whose macabre ends we're only now discovering. Now that I think about it, as you can see, my servants have all abandoned me and I will soon follow their lead. Those poor people hoped to escape the city while there was still time. A dire vrai, I fear I shall never see them alive again. Before she left, the housekeeper gave me this key. It opens the gate that leads to the Louvre, if you are foolhardy enough to attempt it. I found a note written by Eugène de Vaucanson. He mentions the death of the Dauphin at Meudon. What happened that night? How should I know? The child passed away at Meudon. I was in Versailles. Besides the King and Monsieur de Vaucanson, who else witnessed these events? Well, if they followed protocol, Monsieur Le Monnier, the first physician to the King, he must have performed the autopsy on the child. Where can I find him? He lives in Versailles, near the Chateau, but he has a practice here in Paris, on Rue Saint-Thomas-d'Enfer, in the Quartier Saint-André-des-Arts. Eugène de Vaucanson told you nothing. The only thing he was willing to tell me was that something terrible had happened, and that the circumstances leading to the Dauphin's death were not exactly as described. One thing for certain is that he was extremely upset about what happened, so much so that he refused to spend a single day more in the King's service. But he has apparently changed his mind. Eh bien? Have you seen Monsieur Bailly? No, not yet. You must. 